And welcome back to the tutorial. Ha ha ha. Oh, it's me again. Uh, it took a while for me to get this going. Sorry about that. Um, it was life. What can I say? Anyway, uh, we're back. Uh, hope you guys did your homework. Ha ha. Um, as you can see, I built a second assembler here. Uh, basically, I did that so that I could build the materials I needed for the ship because there's going to be quite a few materials. And also, I didn't want to bore y'all with uh, producing those materials in real time, and I'm too lazy to edit, so why would I want to do that? Okay, so we are going to build a little ship right now. Uh, the purpose of the ship is to be able to go to asteroids, mine them, store a whole bunch more ore than we normally do, and then make it back here. So, let me go to the secret vault of materials. Uh, here you can see the stuff I've uh, built already. Uh, some of these things we're not going to need a lot of. These things on the top row, as it so happens, we won't need a whole lot of. Uh, construction components we'll need quite a bit of. Interior plates and steel plates are the main things we'll need. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some of these things so that I don't have to keep coming back. Uh, reactor components are for building a reactor. Thruster components are for building thrusters. I think metal grids are more or less, more or less, for uh, more or less, more or less, for building reactors. Uh, bulletproof glass and displays are for uh, cockpit and computers. Computers are actually in a lot of things. Uh, interior plates are mainly for storage uh, units, which we will be putting on the spaceship. So let's get out of there. Oh, uh, one other thing. Also, uh, I went ahead and made a couple of uh, hydrogen bottles in addition to the oxygen. If you run out of hydrogen, you can't move if you're away from gravity. So it's that's a good thing to also have in reserve, and it takes like almost no room. So it's good to have on you in case of emergency. And let's go ahead and top up everything. All right, so... Here's what we're going to do. Uh, I want to build a spaceship. Let me clear this out by right-clicking. I uh, hit G, just to remind you all. Now, uh, first thing, we want to build a spaceship. However, there's a slight trick already. Uh, first of all, I'm going to grab the light armor block, which is, you know, a very handy one to have, and then click on New Small Ship. It gives us all any gear, but we don't want to place it just yet. Let's select that block and go ahead and put one down uh, with the left click. And don't do anything. Don't don't complete it. And I'll show you why in a moment. Go back to the new small ship. Now I will hit the jetpack. Go up a bit and put the uh, foot up here. Uh, let me rotate it with page up and page down. Uh, your keys may vary. Be aware of that. Okay, now it's pointing forward, so I will put it down. The reason I did that, that way, if you can envision it, uh, we're going to build it straight out from there, and then we're going to want to put a couple more, at least one other landing gear, or the way I'm going to design it. I'll put it that way. We're going to put a couple more landing gears, and it'd be really hard to get under it if you didn't already have it lifted up. And while you could have it floating in space, not a good idea, because if you just touch it, it'll go flying. And then you have to start over. So... That is how I do that. And we actually, now that we've placed the landing gear, we need to finish it. So bring up your welder and make sure you got any materials. Fortunately for small ships, you don't need that many materials to build things, but you do need some materials. So, what? Large steel tube. I forgot something. Ha ha. Large steel tube. There we go. Bring the computer. Wait. Ooh, I'm almost at capacity here. Okay. Let's take away half of those. I right clicked and dragged to get to the half part of that, so let's just take away half of that. Uh, we don't need that many motors. Again, right click, drag. Type in your amount, and then it cuts it. It, The amount you type in is the amount that gets transferred over. So uh, that takes care of that. Okay, I'm sorry, I brought my materials this time. Make sure you hold it all the way through to make sure it's completely built. I mean, it, it is functionable over that red line on the le on the right side there, but if you don't, but you you want to have it in full strength in case you get damaged some so, uh, for some reason. Now, uh, click four. We're gonna do some blocks. 
put one block right ab right on top of it. And we want a lot of room. This may look like a dorky ship, but the whole point of this ship is for usefulness. So I'm going to go ahead and do about, I don't know, 13-ish. I'm not counting. And if you make a mistake like I did, grab your grinder and just zip. Good news is that when you grind something, you get the materials back. Uh, speaking of materials, you may remember that there was some big landing gears here and there was a chair here. I ground those up for materials early in the game. That is also something you may want to do. I also added the green for more um, uh, visibility so I know where the landing platform is. Anyway, uh, let's see. Uh, let's add a couple more just for fun. Okay, now that we've done that, I encourage you to go ahead and weld them immediately. It's going to go fast. I like the rhythm. Industrial rhythm kind of thing. And the reason I say go ahead and do that while you while you are going... Yeah, that sounds weird, doesn't it? To weld those, or finish those while you are building them, is if you get into a situation like so... Let's say, for example, we did this, and then, because we were weird, we did this. Now note, if I had not taken... Hang on, let me get rid of that. Pressing zero. If I had not already welded those two in the middle, it would have been kind of hard to get to them. So that's why I encourage uh, doing those as you are building it. Welding those as you are building it. Sorry, my terminology is terrible. Uh, so yeah, I did five across in the back. That's all you really need. And now that we have our backside, I will add a couple landing gears. Uh, the more landing gears you have, the better you'll stick to something and the less likely you might uh, pop off for some reason. In other modes, that would probably come in real handy. So I'll just go ahead and... Ugh, really? You were already facing the right way. Okay. Using the end key to... Oh, really? What is going on? Okay. Okay. I hit insert eventually. There's that one. Why is that? Usually they face the same way. Okay. Uh, yeah, usually when you build one and then you go build another, it faces the same way as the other. So anyway, make sure it goes all the way through. Sometimes I miss some of these. Nope, not this time. Okay. So we have a basis for our ship. Now you'll notice the green light on this one and not on these landing gears. That one is currently locked down to this uh, block here by magnetism, I suppose. Uh, these are not. And in fact, I will show you, let's see here. No, let's, let's wait on that. Uh, okay, so next I'm going to build a wall, a very small wall here on the very back. And of course, once I do that, I mold it in place. Okay, so, um, and let's go ahead and add some more platforming here. Uh, you're free to do this three or five wide as much as you want. Um, I'm just going to do three wide. I have no real reason behind this. I may have one later. I'm doing this on the fly. Uh, I think the people that have been giving me nice comments, I'm happy to be of help. I'm most certainly not the final authority on any of this. <laughs> if you find better ways, uh, do uh, go do it your way and share. You know, and, and say, hey, this is better because because it's a, I don't know what. The whole point of this is to get you guys into this as quickly as possible. So now that we have all that built, we have that much of a sh ship already built. Next up is the cockpit, which is right. Uh, this is the fighter cockpit, not recommended. Uh, different. It's. I, I don't know. I don't necessarily know what uses it has differently, but at the very least, we just need a cockpit. So, again, right click to put that on your hotbar, and we'll go ahead and. Oh wait, I can't plunk that down. I need interior plates. Let's go get some. Uh, Okay, <laughs> I got confused for a second there. Oops. Okay, oh wow, I'm still full. That's interesting. Okay, well, we don't need that many interior plates anyway, but let's go ahead and plunk you down. I'm going to go ahead and put it flush with the edge there. 
I need displays and bulletproof glass. That's probably the only thing we need those things for. Well, displays we sometimes need for cargo containers. So, bulletproof glass. Uh, let's go ahead and put half of this back. And displays. Alright. Let's finish off that cockpit. Bulletproof glass. I did not have enough. Apparently I needed like 30 bulletproof glass. Let's go see what the recipe says. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, 30 bulletproof glass. There we go. Note that the red bar for minimum safe or minimum usability is actually way low on this one. Uh, but, of course, as always, you'll want to go ahead and do that. Now, you can actually get into this cockpit by looking at it and pressing F, the use key. Hey, we're in the cockpit. Uh, the display for this is roughly the same. We do have the gravity on the uh, left side there. If your ship has gravity, that, that tells you which way it is and, and how strong it is. Now, on the left, we see things like thrusters and gyroscopes and power uh, spotlights, all sorts of things. Uh, we don't need those for now. Note at the very bottom on the right it says landing gears 3 locked 1. That that coincides with the green landing gear we saw earlier. Since we don't have anything to do right now, we'll go ahead and press F again to exit it. Now next thing I would like is an ore detector. Right there, I typed in detect in the search box and I get ore detector. Go ahead and put that right on the front of the ship. And I need a detector component. Did I even build one? I don't think I built one. Uh, no, I did not. I will build exactly one. Uh, production. Oh, there's something else to inform you all about. Okay, one detector component. Clip. That's all I need. Uh, gimme. Okay. Now. I built two assemblers, and I also added a productivity module to the side so it would produce faster. Here's the trick though. If you're using a second assembler and you go to production, if you do something right now, it's going to do it in the other assembler. Uh, as an example, listen, uh, if you have stereo sound on, listen to the right speaker. That just happened in the other assembler because there's two assemblers here. So you would need to do that one, and that that was produced right in front of us. See, there's only one, even though we produced two. The other one is in the other assembler. Let's see if I can find it. I can't get it because it's in the other assembler. It's over here. Yoink. Okay. So now we finish our detector. Excellent. This will enable us to detect ores while we're in the ship and at a greater distance. I believe it's a hundred meters while if you're hand, hold, hand bleh, holding the detector by hand, it's like 30 meters. Might be 50. Okay. Uh, next, let's add a cargo container. And what we're going to do here is go ahead and hit G. Let's clear out some of these. Don't need landing gear, cockpit, or detector anymore. Uh, on the left side here, we got uh, conveyor and cargo blocks. There's one in here called medium cargo, cargo container. That's the one you want for your small ship because the small cargo container for a small ship barely holds anything. So medium container it is. And let's see here. Note this big uh, door basically facing. Uh, go ahead and move it to where it's facing upward and in fact I can go upward myself to find out if that is the case which it is not now it is and I'll go ahead and put that down and let's go ahead and finish it up oh I actually had the stuff for that and let's take a look inside and we can hold 33,700 liters as opposed to our normal 4,000 liters which is a big improvement that's like having eight plus people helping you now the big door will come in handy later for when you want to offload the stuff directly from your ship into your refinery. Uh, you can attach, let's see, what was it called? Uh, a connector to the top. That connector then connects with another connector, funnily enough, well, here, there's a door right up here. So if you put the two connectors together, then 
uh, the cargo transfers from your ship over to the refinery. There's some other logic called pushing and pulling, which means whatever you're connected to will push or pull depending on certain circumstances. Let's set that aside for now. I went as deep as I wanted to go on that. So, at the very least, we have a cargo container, and we can get to it either way, from A or B. You'll note I left some space here. The reason I left some space here, uh, later we will want to put an oxygen unit here, so that whenever we're in our cab, we'd be conserving oxygen. So you leave some space for that. Now, for power for the reactor, I will actually be using a large reactor and not a small one. Why? Because while the small reactors are cheaper and they work, they don't put out a whole lot of power, and the more thrusters you put on your ship, the more power you're going to need. Now, for right now, let's go ahead and go back and refill everything. Come on, energy. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Yeah. Okay. Do -do -do. So we're going to build something like this big reactor on our ship. So we are going to need reactor components and metal grids and quite possibly some other stuff. Take out the display, take out the bulletproof glass. Mm, we've got the large steel tube. Might need small steel tube, I'm not sure. But we've got most of what we need. So, G, reactor, R-E-A-C. Large reactor. Pretty big, isn't it? Ah. Uh, it would be nice if the right side hooked up to the cargo container there, but I'm not too bothered by it. Uh, but just for grins, I'll go ahead and put it flush with the back there. Whee! And back to our welder. Let's see what we got here. Uh, nope, no, uh, no small uh, tubes required for this. However, I don't have enough reactor components or computer components. I will go ahead and start the reactor components with my two assemblers. Oh, and by the way, uh, I split what I had up as far as ores go in half and brought them over here. Uh, I could also have done it by having a conduit or a conveyor conduit going from there to... Actually, I don't think I could have. Maybe the back, but that's beside the point. By the way, this is a conveyor right here. And, this is, and that's what connects it to the assembler in the car container. That en enables me to access things in the cargo container from the assembler, but I don't need to do that right now. So, getting back to the matter at hand, let us make some components. Okay, again, we're on assembler 2. It seems a little weird, but let's just go with that for now. And build reactor components. Ooh, it's fast.